Welcome back. We are inching closer to our Memorial Day weekend, honoring all of the military personnel who died serving their country. And one way to do that, Michelle, a parade. All right, a highlight for many, both young and old. And Kent County Veterans Services wants to make sure that our streets are full for that parade to show our appreciation for all the service and sacrifice. Martha Burkett is here to share more about the Memorial Day Parade and other events for veterans in the area. Hi, Martha. Hi. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Let's, uh, everyone loves a parade. That's the saying, right? That's right. <laughs> Let's talk about this Memorial Day Parade. What should we expect? Well, it will kick off um, on Division Street okay. under the I-196 interchange. It'll travel down Fulton and, um, I'm sorry, travel, <laughs> I said that word, travel down Division 2 Fulton okay. and um, congregate at the Veterans Memorial Park. And there will be a ceremony then. Um, this is, we're working together with uh, Veterans Council of Kent County. And um, we're hoping it'll be just a really nice lovely event hopefully the weather will be good we've been having great weather so hopefully a lot of the community can come out and celebrate our veterans and that's the, the people, key part the ones who didn't come home absolutely right. that's absolutely. the key part martha we really i mean that's that's how they see the support it's a physical representation to yes. have those streets lined with people showing yep. their support absolutely all right. all right so give us all the details times places where people can go um so that we do fill those streets right exactly so 6 o'clock p.m. again at, uh, on Division Street under 196. That's where it will start. If, we, if you want to watch, you can line up anywhere along Division all the way down to Fulton. Okay. Um, you can stand at the park and wait for it to come that way. If you're mobility challenged, you don't have to go out and participate. We're going to be there. We're going to be passing out goodie bags. We're going to be greeting people. Um, hopefully, we'll have uh, a huge showing. So the event at the end is a short ceremony, um, and it'll be, like I said, at Veterans Memorial Park, which is a beautiful park. It's right across from the Children's Museum, if you're not familiar with where it and, is. Yeah, recently remodeled. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a really beautiful park. Yeah. yeah, it is. Absolutely. Okay, so moving beyond Memorial Day, talk a little bit about some of the upcoming events, things that you have for, for veterans um, to participate in. Okay, uh, in the month of June, we have a couple of art prize, I'm, I'm sorry, art workshops okay. led by art prize, art prize artist Pamela Alderman. One of those is going to be at Heroes Corner. One of them will be at uh, Kent County Veterans Services. And I think there's going to be one at the Vet Center okay. as well. And then we're also having a couple of equine events at um, Equine Assisted Development, which is a ranch that's actually, this is weird that it's right there in the city, but it's really beautiful. It's um, at 32nd and Schaefer, which is just a couple blocks south of the Woodland Mall. So we have a Coffee with Veterans, uh, Coffee with the Horses, I'm sorry, for veterans and their families. And I think there's a morning one and there might be an evening one too. We also have, um, we have an all women's retreat coming up on June 24th that's also at the ranch and uh, it's a full day it starts at 7 a or 6 9, 9 a.m. and goes to 7 p.m. There's a lot of data happening. Uh, yeah there, lots right? of numbers. There is. Yeah, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah so that should be a really fun day for for the women we like to plan events that are especially female oriented and um, celebrate the female veterans because they don't get a lot of acknowledgement and Absolutely. and it's hard for us to attract them but we've been working really hard the last couple of years to um, honor them. We're also planning a, a female veterans um, recognition event that will happen probably in August. Okay. And you know the disability claims have really shot up. Oh, they have. You know, over the past year. Yeah. And we, we don't have a lot of time to dive into it, but we want to get the information online at fox17mornimix.com about the ways that people can get involved in supporting the veterans that, who made the decision to make that sacrifice and put that time in. And sometimes, as you mentioned, paid the ultimate sacrifice. There's a phone number you can call, 616-632-5722, or you can just go to accesskent.com. We're going to put the actual full link at fox17mornimix.com for everybody. Yeah, because that's, that's a lot to that's digest. A lot to, yeah, it's a yes. lot of love. Mark, thank you for, so much for the time yes. this morning and for what you're doing. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate it.